So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your very first tutorial for ECMAScript 6 which is just a fancy word for the new JavaScript implementation in the browsers. So I have actually done a playlist before on ECMAScript tutorials but I guess I used a transpiler in that and uh, it wasn't it isn't actually a complete playlist as well and it's kind of a messed up one so I just want to do a fresh start so here we are with the ECMAScript 6 right so if you're watching this tutorial I guess you probably are somebody who knows JavaScript who has worked with JavaScript before who knows that JavaScript is kind of you know fun to work with you can create some alerts you know you can use make use of libraries like jQuery or maybe even frameworks like AngularJS and uh, you are pretty much familiar with all the JavaScript stuff like, you know, calling methods and uh, prototypal model and all that stuff. But even if you are just done with the basics, I guess ES6 would be easy for you to understand because ES6 is mostly what I have seen is kind of syntactic sugar, but uh, it brings in a lot of useful features as well. So as of now, what we see is that ES6 is mostly implemented in almost all the browsers. You can see that my current browser it states that it's implemented 97%. So we are missing this proper tail calls, which is tail call optimization, which we would take a look later on. But for now, what's the main point is that ES6 is properly implemented in almost all the browsers and we can pretty much make use of this at least for the tutorial purposes but later on if you want to like make your app live on the web then you can pretty much just transpile it with babel to es5 and uh, that will pretty much just work for you as well so wh what i want to do in this tutorial or rather in this introduction video is that i want to tell you about what we're gonna do in this whole web series and that is pretty much take a look at what ES6 brings to us and uh, get a taste of it right so I hope I am assuming that you know what JavaScript is before starting this series because if you do not know then probably the series this playlist wouldn't be a lot beneficial for you because I won't be covering the JavaScript aspects of uh, um, by JavaScript, I mean the old ES5 aspects like, uh, you know, all that default stuff like loops and uh, objects and all that stuff. We're not going to go into that. We're just going to take a look at what ES6 brings to us. So, yeah, that's all for this one. And uh, again, if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then on the other side real soon.